Um, I look, I know that there was always a view that the dream ticket would be Raj and Paul O'Connell. And um, look, I, I, I think it's, I think Raj has done an awful lot more in the, in the coaching space. He's been retired longer. He has spread his wings further afoot. Um, um, but I think Paul is definitely on the list as well, you know. But I, I like, I think he needs to do more. Um, if he wants to be head coach, he'll need to do more. He needs to do more in different areas, different space, and whether it becomes. But look, when I look at the two of those guys, they're two incredibly intense um, rugby guys, and rugby just it courses through them. You know, that's it's their kind of uh, their lifeblood. You know what I mean? Um, I I don't think it ever needs to be either or. Um, it can be both. I still go back on, on a time when Scotland were very competitive. It had McGeekin and Telfer as coaches, and they alternated being head coach and assistant coach. I think they got three years of pop each, right. and then were able to support each other each because of the, the nature of their personalities. They had that capacity to be able to do it. What's to say that we can't do that? I mean, we were looking... But we're always looking for a level of consistency and we're looking for for something that holds Ireland um, up to a high standard all the time. 